When you need certain things added, removed, or certain things altered in the frame, masking can save your life. But it can be a little tedious. Think of them as digital scissors on your video. To give an example, during the School Days Abridged one shot, I had scripted an encounter with Kotonoha and Makoto. However, during this scene, Sekai was actually there in the original anime. But I didn't want her there mainly for flow and continuity reasons. To do this kind of trick for removing a character, you will need the frame in which you want to keep, the frame that you're going to cover that frame with, and an editor that allows masking or a garbage mat and multiple layers on a timeline. Now you can do this in editors such as Sony Vegas, Premiere, After Effects, HitFilm and so on, but the more basic editors like Movie Maker don't really have this feature. So let's get into this. So I had the lip flaps on the timeline and then I added the frame in which Sekai wasn't in the shot. I then took a garbage mat and masked around where Makoto is in the below frames. In certain circumstances, you may have to smoothen out the cut in the frame by adding a feather. However, in this case, it's not necessary. And there you have it. Sekai is gone! Now, basic masking can be used for many things. For example, I used it to overlay a different facial expression without having to change all the frames. We can add lip flaps using this method and just general manipulation of a video. The uses of this technique comes down to how creative you are with it.